Hi, my name is Ofon Daniel. Yeah, welcome to Red Soft Art Software Development Technology. In preference for the crash program tomorrow, new TM, we'll be taking some subject on biology. We'll be looking at reproduction and evolution. There are two core aspects of biology. Now, so, Red Soft Red Soft is a tutorial that is powered. Now, it's an app that prepares students for JAM BTME. It has past questions, study materials, and many other features that help students prepare for the exam. Now, for these tutorials, we'll be solving questions from the EdSoftA app and your own questions. Now, we'd like you to visit Google Play on your Android phone, search for EdSoftA UTME, and install it. Now, on today's schedule, we we'll take lectures on your production and evolution, we'll solve questions from the EdSoftA app, and we'll take questions from you. So, what is reproduction? What is reproduction? From what you can see here, you can see is I built in the mother's room. Now, under reproduction, we have asexual and sexual reproduction. Now, do you look at asexual reproduction? Now, from the word asexual, asexual means one, one. The word A means one. And in asexual reproduction, one organism produces one or more organisms that are identical to itself. Now, what does it entail? It entails that what? Only one parent is involved. Only one parent is involved. And for one parent to be involved, it will have to produce maybe as an hermaphrodite, having both female and female sex organs. Now, also, in this sexual reproduction, there are no reproductive organs used. There are no reproductive organs used. Three, there are what? There is no genetic variation. Since the same parent is giving birth to the same offspring, they will have what? They will have sharpening resemblance. And also, it involves what? Mitotic cell division. Mitotic cell division. And the offsprings are generally identical to their parents. They are generally identical to their parents. Now, what are the ways in which what? Asexual reproduction can be attained? How can we achieve? Asexual reproductions. What are the forms of asexual reproductions? Now we have binary fission. Binary means to fission means to split. So from what binary fission, an organism is splitting into what into two halves, into two halves. And examples of organisms that undergo binary fissions are protozoans and bacteria. Under that, you have your amoeba and so on. Now we have body, body. Organisms, each sexual organism, to produce true body. Examples of such organisms are hydra and yeast. Then we have regeneration. In this case, an organism grows from the root of the same host organism. It grows outward and brings forth dead. Now, examples of organisms that undergo regeneration are planaria, hydra, and starfish. Then we have fragmentation. From the word fragmentation, we have fragments. In this case, an organism is, in, is grouped in layers, which can be broken down into two different fragments. If you check the diagrams of spiral gyre, you see that it has layers, that's fragments, which can be split. So by so splitting, the organism lives as an individual. It exists as a free living organism. A very good example of fragmentation is spiral gyre. Then we have spore formation. Organisms, is sexual organisms, it produced by spore formation. Examples of organisms in this category include fungi, ferns, and moss. Then we have vegetative propagation. Now, under vegetative propagation, we have the artificial and the natural vegetative propagation. Now, artificial vegetative propagation involves cutting, grafting, layering, and tissue culture. And under natural, we have the rhizomes, the romans, the bulbs, and the tubers. Now, so we we'll go to the next slide. What you can see here is what is it the well shown diagram of an hydra that is producing true body. Now you go to sexual reproduction. Now, sexual reproduction involves the male and the female reproductive cells or gametes, which combine to form offspring. Now, in this case, two different gametes are coming together to form an offspring. And the words they attain genetic materials from either of both parents. So in this case, we have opposite features of what we have in asexual reproduction. Now, what are the features we can see in sexual reproduction? We have two parents are involved. Two parents are involved. And since two parents are involved, we have two 
different reproductive organs. Now, it also goes with meiotic division as opposed to mitotic division in asexual reproduction. Now, meiotic division, meiotic division. Now, but note, gametogenesis uses both mitotic and meiotic cell division. Now, it involves sex organs called gonads. It involves sex organs called gonads. Now, there is also results which, which involves increased genetic diversity and survival of offspring. This means what? The organism would tend to variate from what each of the individual hosts of organisms. Since two different organisms come together to combine to form an offspring, it will have, what, it will have mixed, mixed genes from what the body, male and female sex cells, and to form a new offspring, which will vary both from a male and a female, but attaining both of their what, individual characters. Now, in this case, for the female sex cell, we have the ovaries, which produce the ova or eggs. So when the ova or eggs combine with the testes, which produces the sperm, we have what, a zygote, a full zygote. Now, we have formation of what, of a diploid zygote. Now, next up, we are looking at gametogenesis. Now, gametogenesis is formation of gametes by sex cells in what, sexually reproducing organisms. Is the formation of gametes from the word gametogenesis. The word gametes means what, fusion of two sex cells. And genesis means what, to originate, that is to form, to reproduce, to commence. So it means what, you are forming, what, you are forming the gametes from what, from two sex cells. And it occurs only in what, sexually reproducing organisms. Now, the ogenesis and spermatogenesis are the what, are the two forms for me to form which combine to form gametogenesis. Now, ogenesis is what production of egg cells or ova, and this occurs in what in a female reproductive system. While spermatogenesis is the production of sperm cells, and this occurs in what in the males. Now, after this, you look at fertilization. Now, what is fertilization? Now, to fertilize means what? Is fertilization is the fusion of the nuclei or the alpha egg and sperm cells to give diploid zygotes, initiating development of a new life. And it can be what, internal or external. Now, for life to commence after population, fertilization must take place. The egg must, the sperm must what, must fuse the egg to give what, a diploid zygote that will, that will start up, that will initiate the, what, the beginning of a new life cell. And it could be internal or external. Now, what occurs after fertilization? What occurs after fertilization? Now, fertilization also occurs at cleavage. First thing is cleavage. We have implantation, we have gastrulation, and we have organogenesis. We have cleavage, implantation, gastrulation, and organogenesis. So what is cleavage? Now, cleavage is a process of repeated rapid mitotic cell divisions of the zygote from the brassula. Now, when there are repeated mitotic cell divisions, instantaneous back-to-back -back repeated cell mitotic cell divisions, it is called cleavage. Now, the produced cells, remember it occurs in the brassula, it is formed in the brassula. So the cells that are formed here are called what? Blastomers. During cleavage, they are repeated rapid mitotic cell divisions of the zygote, and they form a blastula. Now, the place or the produced eggs that are formed in the blastula are called blastomers. The eggs are called blastomers. Now, during this stage, the size of the embryo does not change, but the blastomers become smaller with each division. That means as they divide, as they divide further, they become smaller, but the, words, the size of the embryo doesn't change. Now, the divisions continue to form a ball of 16 cells. Now, cleavage, cleavage. Now, if you continue to form a ball of 16 cells called what's called the morula. Now, cleavage. Cleavage begins about 30 hours after fertilization. Remember, these are the both. These are what happens after fertilization. So, 30 hours after fertilization, cleavage begins. And you are what? The repeated mitotic divisions of the zygote. Now, two cells, four, eight molars, solid balls of cells, and there is what? There is no increase in cell size or volume. 
But the what? But the blasphemies become what? smaller as the cells divide further. The blasphemies become smaller as the cells divide further. So now you can see, okay? Now you go to implantation. 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 From the word implantation, it means what? To implant. Implantation is the process by which what? The blastocytes penetrate the superficial layer of the endometrium in the uterus. Now, the uterus is the womb, the, the part of the what? Of the stomach. Now, implantation is the process by which the blastocytes penetrate the superficial layer of the endometrium of the uterus. Now, the blastocytes begins implantation on the sixth day. That means the six days after fertilization, you can see what implantation begins. For 30 days, fragile due to cleavage. Then on the sixth day, blastocyte begins what? Implantation. Now, under the blastocyte, you have the tuberculosis. The tuberculosis cell penetrates the epithelium of the what? Endometrium. And now, penetration results from what? Proteolytic enzymes, e.g. you have your metaproteinase and so on, which are produced by the what? by the trophoplast. Now, it is completed on the 11th or 12th day. That is for two days after fertilization. For two days after fertilization. Then the third thing we're looking at is gastrulation. 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 Now, gastrulation simply means what? The arrangement of what? Of the blastula to form gastrula. Simple as that. Gastrulation, the rearrangement of the blastula to form gastrula. Now, in this case, there is growth in cell size. The cells change in shape of what embryo, and there is what cell movement. There is growth in cell size. There are changes in what in the shape of embryo and cell movement and cell movement. Then we move to the last one, organogenesis. Organogenesis, organo, organism, genesis to form. So in this case, you are forming what a new organism. After cleavage takes place, implantation goes next, gastrulation, then what the formation of the organism commences, organogenesis to form the organism. Now, development of organs from the three primary germ layers. We have the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm. From the word ecto, outer, meso, middle, and endo, inner. Now, ectoderm is also called the outer layer. Now, it forms skins and associated glands the nervous system, the lining of the mouth, nostrils and anus, epidermis, ears and nails. Those are what you can find on the, what, on the ectoderm, on the outer layer of the skin. Then you have the mesoderm, that is the middle layer. Middle layer, you have muscles, the circulatory of blood vessels, the reproductive gonads, the skeletal, that is your bone tissues, and excretory systems, also the dermis of the skin. Then finally, we have your endoderm, that is the inner layer. Now, this forms lining of the digestive tract, the respiratory system, your liver, your lungs, your pancreas, your glands, your bladder, stomach, and colon. And colon. So, now we have an overview of what of its sexual reproduction. As man starts from what we have as a sperm mixes what swims to, to the egg and just one fertilizes and fertilizes the sticks. Then you have cleavage, then you have gastrulation, organogenesis. And you have the baby's early first semester when the egg and everything are still in shape. And as it commences, you have the first trimester, the second trimester, then you have a newborn baby. Then it's because that continues. So now, okay, these are questions on the screen as you stated so that you find fertilization, your zygotes, your embryo, your fetus, gestation. You have gravida, that is gravidity. You have your power, that is parity cleavage and organogenesis and organogenesis. So when you finish your time, just try to attend these questions to bring more understanding. So now, due to the complexity of the female reproductive system, we are going into that very soon. And we are going to talk about what occurs in the human female reproductive system. Now, the female reproductive system matches puberty and normally continues throughout the reproductive years perform several functions including what? Producing female sex cells and hormones and storing eggs. It produces female sex hormones, that is your estrogen and progesterone, and it also stores the eggs or the ova. Now, this is an instruction to show. Now, you have your oviducts. You have your ovary, your uterus or womb. You have your urinary bladder. You have your pubic bone, 
the Eritrea, the Kituris, the Labian Minoria, Labian Majoria, the Virginia, the Greater Vestibular Ground, the Anus, the Rectum, and the World Opening of World of the Savics. The literature is given here so as we go for the to understand how their structure determines their function and how they operate and how they work hand to hand in the growth of the female reproductive system. So now, like circle. Okay, oviduct. Now, part of the female reproductive system. Now we have the oviduct. The oviduct is the what? Is the site of fertilization. The oviduct is the site of fertilization. That means fertilization takes place at the oviduct. So the most questions we have in the exam, where does fertilization take place? We have the oviduct, the cervix, vagina, and the vulva. So like that. So the most questions, you know that what fertilization takes place in the what? In the oviduct. Exactly. Remove the uterus. Now the uterus is a site of menstruation and development of fetus called womb. So don't make your physical see. And you can be asked where does the fetus develop? You can see the womb, the cervix, vagina, or without. And you think there is no uterus who my answer should be without. No. Uterus is also called womb. And uterus, the site of menstruation and development of the fetus. Now we have the cervix. We have the cervix. The cervix is the doorway into the uterus and the words opening of the uterus. The doorway into the uterus and the opening of the uterus, like a pathway, a gap, a canal, which leads towards the uterus, and which leads outside to the words opening of the words of the uterus. Then you have the vagina. This is the bed canal and the words sperm receiving area. Bed canal and the sperm receiving area. So the female reproductive system organ has one major and conspicuous organ or cell. I call that word the ova or the ovaries. Now, it plays major roles moving from the womb, fusing with the sperm, and also from the words, the fetus. Now, the ovaries, the ovaries are the words, are the female sex organs, the major female sex organs that produce and store the ova or eggs. Now, it also produces what? Female sex hormones, your estrogen and progesterone. Now, the matured eggs are located in the follicle sacs of the ovary. The mature eggs are located in the what in the follicle sacs of the ovary. Now, for the word mature eggs, that means the word they will be immature eggs. But the mature ones are what are located in the what in the follicle sacs of the what. Now, the female at birth has more than four hundred thousand immature ovaries in the ovaries, and only the mature ones will be waiting to receive the sperm to fuse and form the what and form the fetus. Only the mature ones will be waiting to meet the sperm to fuse and form. Now, the external genitalia, which consists of your vulva, are called the vulva. It's a collective name for all the genitals located outside the female reproductive organ. A general name for all the organs located at the external part of the female reproductive system. Now, we have the labia majora. From the word majora, it means major. And labia is a skin fold. So labia, skin fold, majora, major means what? Major skin fold or large skin fold. Then you have the mons pubis. What pubis is coined from what pubic air? And mons means what? It is prominence. So it means what? Prominence under what? Under pubic air. Mons pubis. Prominence under pubic air. Then you have the labia minora. Labia minora. Manera means what? Small. And labia is what? A skin food. So it means small skin food. These are questions they ask in the exam. They ask you a question. They tell you, you will, which of the following contains large skin foods? Or which of the following constitutes a large skin food? You might be given pronouns, labia majora, labia minoria, and giving clan clitoris. The answer is what? Labia majora, large skin Foods. Then you have the gland clitoris. The gland clitoris contains what? Erectile tissue. Erectile tissue. The clitoris is the most sensitive part of a female reproductive organ. So, mammary glands. Mammary glands. Mammary from one mammals. Mammals are tend to what? Are the group of organisms that tend to feed their young ones while they live. When they get to them, they take care of them and they mother them. 
So my green is going to move down. So mother is going to take that to just go free. And my mind glance. Now, my mind glance, okay. So my mind glance modifies sweat glance that what produce me. They call that lactation. Lactation is the process by which modified sweat glands produce milk, produce milk. Now, the tissue that is involved in the size of the breast is called what? The adipose tissue. The adipose tissue is the tissue that determines the size of the breast. Now, milk is secreting mammary glands, uh, lactin and prolactin. They secrete what? Mammary glands. Now, what is the physiology of the breast? Now, milk secretion are what? Injection hormones. Now, we have the estrogen. The estrogen develops a duct system in the what in the breast. Then you have the progesterone. Progesterone develops a milk secreting glands called the alveoli. They work on it and estrogen and progesterone and progesterone. Then you have the prolactin. Prolactin stimulates milk synthesis. Synthesis means to form like a photosynthesis. So it forms milk in the what in the alveoli, which what which the progesterone will secrete glands into. Just when it's a gland secreting, lactin what produces the milk. Then you have oxytocin, which causes smooth muscles around that will like to contract and squeeze milk into lactiferous ducts, lactiferous cyanosis, and into the what into the nipple. Then we move to the next one, which is the uterus. Uterus also called the womb. The womb. Now it's a pear-shaped cavity composed of three layers of tissue. You have the perimetrium, the myometrium, and the endometrium. Of that question is in the exam. Perimetrium, myometrium, and what? Endometrium. Now, from what perimetrium? It's what? A fibrous connective tissue. It is to connect tissue to tissue. Then, myometrium is what? It's a smooth muscle. The smooth muscle muscle the tissue. And what? You have the what? Endometrium, which is the epithelial and your connective tissues. Performs good functions. Now, Endometrium has two major strata or layers. We have the words the stratum functionalis and the stratum basalis. We have the stratum functionalis and the stratum basalis. Now, the stratum functionalis is shared during monthly menstruation, and the words and the stratum basalis intact and radiate words functionalis after each menstruation. Stratum is similar for the word strata, similar for the word strata. Then. Next one, we have what a life cycle. Your life cycle. Now, what are the terminologies you can see in the life cycle? You have to find life cycle yourself. What are metamorphoses? And simple, you have the complete metamorphosis and what's incomplete metamorphosis. So, life cycle. Life cycle. Man begins from bed and then dies. So, the process by which it goes from what? From childhood to what? To grave is what they call a life cycle. It occurs in all organisms, all organisms. Everything that has life, it occurs in all living organisms, all living organisms. So life cycle, there are stages a plant or animals go through from egg to adult, from egg to adult. It's called metamorphosis. That is a change, the process of change during the life cycle is called what? Metamorphosis. Now we have simple metamorphosis. The process of change during the life cycle circle in which what the young resembles the adults that's what looks like what the adults so what are the stages of life cycle we have the birth stage the roots for the change maturity senescence and death so let's explain them as a group chronologically you have the birth stage pets 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 so as we are giving birth to with a good series of changes but we concord to the words to the characteristics of living things that is your movement, your respiration, nutrition, irritability, you grow, your excretion, your respiration, your production, competition, adaptation, and your diet. So, but so as a as a newborn child is, is born, he grows and he changes as what as he develops. He grew and he changes, it goes in form, in size and maturity, so it grows. So as it grows, it becomes what? It matures, maturity comes in place. Now, at the point of maturity, when I go what? Senescence, that means what? It deteriorates again, like a slope, like a slope, a curve. You just go from down, then you go. The maturity is what is the apex point 
advance that then it goes down again. Say it says, say it's a slight deterioration of everything. Begin to lose some cells, forget things like that. Then the organisms die. The organisms die. So these are the five stages of life cycle: the birth, the growth or change, maturity, senses, and death. Now, organisms that undergo phase of life cycle, you have the simple or incomplete metamorphosis. Now, under them for sim simple is called what? Incomplete metamorphosis. Now, there are three phases in this one, and they occur mainly in what? Mainly in winged insects. Mainly in winged insects. You have your what? You have your egg, your nymph, and your adult. Your egg, your nymph, and your adult. Examples are cockroaches and grasshoppers. Even dragonflies appear in this category. You can see the egg. From the egg, it becomes what? It becomes a nymph. From the egg, it becomes a nymph. Then what? An adult. An adult. So that the changes they undergo in incomplete or simple metamorphosis. Simple because it drops just three and not four changes. Then you have your complete metamorphosis, your complete metamorphosis. This occurs in four phases, in four phases, which include what? Your egg, your larva, your pupa, and your adult. Your egg, your larva, your pupa, and your adult. Now, examples of organisms which possesses complete metamorphosis are your beetles, your butterflies, your moths, your fleas, your flies, your ants, your wasps, and your bees. And that will complete metamorphosis complete change complete change so in the following questions are going best prevention of some menstrual cycle sexual and asexual reproduction body and fermentation body and banana fission fermentation and what regeneration so so far so good we'll be able to cover some topics on reproduction and we'll be coming back in the next 20 minutes so questions Okay, so any question? Okay. Comment. Okay, we'll be back to take on next topic on evolution. <laughs> 